Okay guys, what I have for you today is these new solar panels by uh, Rock Pals. And we'll kind of go over them here uh, in the seating position. We'll kind of talk about them and what makes them different and we'll talk about the old ones. Uh, I did have the old ones, but uh, I sent them back. Okay, here's my Rock Pals solar panels, 100 watt, 100 watt solar panels. And it's about nine o'clock in the morning. And this is what I'm getting. About uh, 16 and a half volts, you know, between 61 and 65 watts. That is, uh, that is really good. And then we'll uh, look at the screen here. 62 watts there, so that confirms that. Um, I did do a lot of testing on the original ones and ultimately I got really upset and frustrated and just uh, sent them back before I did any kind of review. I'm going to tell you that, uh, that uh, the old ones had some issues, the, the first generation of this, uh, of this uh, panel. Notice that it's, it's got red writing now and uh, the old ones uh, had some other color, I can't remember. Uh, very similar in size and everything. Um, one of the biggest differences in the original one is it had no legs. The new ones have legs. And what these, you know, I've had other solar panels that had legs, but these are the best legs that, that I've seen so far. There's a metal piece in here, a flexible, bendable metal leg. So these are very strong and hold the panel up no problem. There's two of them inside. Inside here is your USB connections and things like that. I, I guess some people might use those or whatever, but I don't. There's a USB-C and looks like a high amperage uh, USB 2.0. Uh, this is also lined to make it kind of uh, weatherproof. These are water resistant, uh, IPX4, I believe, something like that. But as long as this back panel doesn't get wet, because this is not waterproof, this back, this, uh, this box right here is not waterproof, but as long as you had this sealed up and water wasn't getting on this when it was like raining or something, uh, you should be fine. I've never used them in the, in the rain. It hasn't rained yet. Actually, uh, that's another story. It hasn't really rained in Arizona very much at all. But uh, anyway, so that's uh, one of the biggest outward differences. Um, the case has got a real strong handle, real strong Velcro. They look exactly the same as the old ones, but the biggest difference is that these uh, can be paralleled where the old ones could not. There is a review on Amazon where a guy claims that he paralleled the old, old panels, but there's no information on how or, or what. So, I had two of the original uh, Rock Pals and they didn't parallel. As soon as you connected them together, the power would just drop to zero. So that's one of the biggest reasons why I switched. Also, the voltage on the other panels were uh, really suspect. What would end up happening is under a heavy load, the voltage would sometimes drop um, all the way to like 12 volts. And I couldn't really figure out the rhyme or reason as to what was going on. Um, sometimes the voltage would, would hold steady at 15 volts, but sometimes the voltage would drop. So that was one of the reasons I, I just got frustrated. I couldn't figure out what was going on with those panels. Uh, the new panels come with, it looks to be like a, a 10 foot cord. Uh, Anderson plug on the end now, this time, which is nice. And also, where'd it go? Oh, here it is. These are the cables it comes with. It comes with a, a cord like this, Anderson plug again, with all your different solar generator plugs right connected to it already. Uh, Rock Pals, the AVA, two pin aviation, uh, eight pin for like this one here, for the, uh, the uh, Blue Eddy, the Blue Eddy. Uh, so also I believe um, Jackery, and then you've got uh, five and a half. Those are all 
on the end of the plug. No need for a bunch of adapters. As a matter of fact, the old uh, Rock Pal solar panel didn't even come with a two pin aviation plug to charge their own solar charger or their own solar generator, which was, I don't, I, don't, I can't even imagine how you explain that. The uh, other thing it comes with is a parallel plug. Each one of these panels comes with a parallel plug, Anderson, Anderson, Anderson. And uh, you know, you, you plug both panels into this and then your connection right here into this and then to your charger. And now you've got two of these panels paralleled. And I do have two of these panels. Today is an absolutely uh, horrible day as far as uh, uh, the sun being out. The sun just now came out. So I'm gonna go set these up and uh, connect them to my, uh, my solar generator and see if we can't get that thing charged. Cause uh, I've used about three quarters of it since I've been here and I need to get the thing charged back up. So uh, let's go ahead and, and go do that. But um, other than that, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, during my testing of these, I have not seen that same voltage drop as I did on the original ones. All right, these, uh, these new rock panel, 100 watt solar panels, the parallel version, the brand new ones, the one with the red writing. These ones seem to be performing uh, really well. This is first light, the sun has just barely came up. And I'm getting uh, about 70, 70 watts or so. It's, uh, it's cloudy. And there's a forest fire near my house. Uh, let me show you the sky. There's the sky, so you can see it's super cloudy right now. And these panels are still doing much better than I expected they'd be doing. Okay, well, it is 8.20 now. And this is the output of the uh, new Rock Pal solar panels. They're uh, connected in parallel. And this is uh, a very cloudy day. There's a forest fire, like I said, really close by. So um, I think I think they're doing better than I expected um, in these conditions. Um, full sun, noon, solar noon. I, I I could see these things putting out. I wouldn't be surprised if you if you get a hundred and hundred and sixty watts or so out of these things. Maybe more. They seem to be performing very well. I've been uh, testing these a lot and they work really well. When the sun is out, I'm getting, you know, upwards of uh, 170 watts, uh, you know, during like the peak afternoon, 170, 175 watts. Th these things put out power immediately, pretty much when the sun comes up, which is another uh, nice thing. The old version of this, uh, the power when the sun was rising and going down, you, know, you just, you got squat. They, they, you didn't get any power out of them. So these are better in that uh, regard as well. I mean, everything about these panels are better than the original one. So um, I don't see any reason to buy the original ones at all, you know, uh, anymore. And if you have the original ones, I guess just, you know, keep using them if they're working for you. I, I think they probably work okay for most people but uh, for me, they just uh, weren't cutting the mustard. So let's uh, set these up and then I'll kind of kind of show you how, uh, how they're set up. Hey guys, uh, I got the solar panel set up. Like I said, it's a, you know, it's a bad day. The sun is behind a bunch of clouds. It, it looks like it's, you know, shadowed, you know, everywhere around me. I mean, check it out. I mean, it's just not a bright sunny day. So you can't expect full tilt boogie so just keep that in mind you can't expect these panels to to work a miracle if the sun isn't isn't out today um you know sometimes when you sit down to make these videos you drive you know all this way for a camping trip so you can uh show you guys what's going on you know sometimes the weather doesn't cooperate and that's what we've got today so uh anyway you can see that over here we have the cable running from that panel over here to the included uh, Y connector right there. Both panels are connected there. And off the other end is, you know, your multitude of different uh, connectors right there. And then I have it connected to a watt meter so we can see 
you know, the output and everything. And with, you know, today's really horrible day, hopefully you can read this, I'll read it to you. 2.8 amps, 15.22 volts, 42.3 watts is what we're getting. So this is exactly why, this is exactly why I always say to over panel. Um, a 100 watt panel, if it were delivering 100 watts all the time, would be great, but they don't. You know, you, you have to, you're at the mercy of whatever the sun is doing. So that's why I always say uh, two uh, 100 watts is, uh, is really the bare minimum, in my personal opinion, uh, to get anything done. Uh, 100 watts on a great day, yeah, you'll get, you'll get some stuff done, but 100 watts on a day like this, and you're not charging squat. So that's uh, kind of my opinion on that. Uh, these panels, uh, I do recommend. I purchased them myself, so um, I have no reason to, to tell you to go buy something. You know, whenever people, you know, YouTubers get sent things for free, you know, sometimes you, you know, you got to question whether or not, the, uh, you know, what they're saying is accurate or completely the truth. And I have no reason to tell you anything but the truth because I purchased these myself and uh, I'm obligated to nobody. So uh, you're gonna get an honest review here like always, even if somebody does send me something, uh, they know up front that they're gonna get uh, the truth. So most of the time uh, they won't even send it to me. So, and, and in these cases, that's what happened. They don't even respond to me. Um, when I contact Jackery and Rock Pals and the various other companies that make these kind of products, they don't even they don't even bother to respond to me. Um, you know, because when I send out my uh, my uh, email to 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 get in touch with them, I let them know that this is an honest review channel, and uh, I won't um, say the things that they want me to. I will give an honest uh, opinion. And you know, nine times out of 10, uh, they won't send me anything. So, so these, uh, these things that I'm showing you here are uh, out of my own pocket. These panels here, these Rock, Pal uh, Rock Pals panels are way better than the original in every way. They, they do perform better. Voltage stays high. Voltage stays over 15 volts, even under a heavy load like you just saw. And uh, this thing is almost completely dead. So this is about the, the highest current draw uh, that you could probably see. It, it, if we had full sun, we might get as high as seven amps. So it, uh, it's working really well. I do recommend these panels and there's no reason in the world to buy the old ones. Let me show you what they look like set up. And uh, let's go over here and I'll give you kind of a, a look. But as you can see, that's what they both look like right there. I just kind of got them offset. And that's another thing. The cords are long enough to where you can put one panel there and one panel there. I mean, you can. Do, there's all kinds of different ways that you can set them up because of that. And uh, so I'm just going to let these things charge. And hopefully in a, you know two or three hours, I'll have my battery back, uh, my battery bank charged back up. And that'll be that. And if you like these videos, you'd like to keep them coming, like to support the channel, please give it a thumbs up. That's what makes uh, YouTube's algorithm hum down the road. And without your guys' uh, interaction, nobody sees my videos. They don't recommend it. Also, uh, if you like content like this, there's going to be more of it. Uh, maybe consider uh, subscribing. So we'll catch you on the next one, guys. On that in. Let me sit down here. Talk at you guys later.